Good morning everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to give you a walking tour of Chawing, Koh Samui. So you're going to see what hotels and restaurants are right on the beach. I hope you enjoy. Morning from Koh Samui. Not a bad way to start the morning. I've just walked out of our hotel, straight onto the beach and then straight onto these little beach swings and I even brought my coffee. We stayed at a hotel called PTK Beach and we thought it was great. It's right on the water and it was really reasonably priced. How cute is this little beach bar? We were on the beach yesterday and it was all busy. So this is probably a good time to take some cute videos. It's like a reggae style beach bar. Hold on. Hold on, little bubby. Come to Lip Smackers Beach Bar if you're in Koh Samui. So cute. Australia. This morning I might just walk down the beach, take it all in and show you guys what the beaches are like when it's a little bit less crowded. This place looks really cute. Maybe you can have dinner out here on the sand. That would be lovely. It's called Marzano. Well, there's already some people having breakfast up there. It's just after seven in the morning. Some nice beach chairs, bean bags up here. Let's see what this sign says. So it looks like it's an Italian restaurant. Every Thursday and Sunday, come and enjoy. And they have fire shows. That looks cool. Definitely love to see a proper fire show. We saw it a little bit in Pee Pee, but we weren't up close and I think Callie would love it. It's Wednesday today, so that means the fire show is tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, if we're going to still be here, but if we are, definitely want to see that. Have a little swing as well. Along the sand, you're going to find lots of massage places. There's one right here next to a restaurant called Long Beach Restaurant. Doesn't look like they're open yet, but up here you've got Moon Dance Restaurant. Let's have a look at that. So this is Moon Dance Restaurant. A lot of nice deck chairs out here. I'm sure you can eat a meal at that table. I'd love to do that while we're in Thailand. Some bean bags down the front. Another beautiful table here and it looks like they've got a restaurant open here and some people are already having their breakfast. You can get frozen smoothies or cocktails with or without alcohol. part of the Barn Samui Resort. And it looks like you can also hire paddle boards. I wanna do that as well. That would be really fun. Next door, this place looks really nice. A bit fancy actually. Let's just have a little walk up here. So this is called the library. Wow, look at this. That is so cool. It's like a movie theater inside there. Oh my God. Look at this. The library. They have a gym. What is this place? I want to stay here. Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. 
I'm actually not a big fan of red, but this looks absolutely stunning. There's a restaurant over there called The Page. The red tiles and then the red sunbeds and the blue water. Also, this tree. To find the details of what this resort is because it looks amazing. The price for one night during their off season on a Wednesday night is 6,318 baht, which is about 260 Australian dollars. And I'll let you know if it's super expensive, but it's incredible. And all the staff are wearing white to match the buildings. So this is the menu they have out on the beach. Well, you can eat 590 baht per person for the skewers. Or they have various Thai dishes here. It is a bit expensive, but it looks amazing. From what I've seen so far, if you're wanting to really go all out in Koh Samui and stay somewhere absolutely spectacular, this place is my pick. It's right on the water. It's so stunning, guys. Amazing. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this place. I'll have to tell, tell James, and maybe we can come here later today. It's so beautiful. Next, we have King's Garden Resort. Oh, look at that swing. Love that. And this pretty chair. They also have a little kid's playground next we have lost barn restaurant it says they actually have free sunbeds so that's awesome happy hour four to seven I think they put these sunbeds out a little bit later. All along the beach you can also rent jet skis and go parasailing. This is a little bit more expensive than we saw in Phuket. In Phuket it was 1500 baht. That's amazing. I have seen a couple of signs letting people know to be careful of jellyfish on this beach. Although there have been box jellyfish found in this area that have stung people. So if you are gonna swim in this area, I would recommend swimming in the netted areas. A lot of hotels actually do put up nets right in front of the beaches, well, in, on the beach in front of their hotel. Beach volleyball there. I might start to walk back now. It's not even eight, but it's getting very hot. And I think Callie might be awake, so I want to go and say good morning to her. But I hope you enjoyed this little tour along the front of the beach here. a little puppy asleep in the sand on my walk back i saw these little jellyfish but i don't think these ones hurt you i also saw nets being installed in front of the hotels thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed to our channel we'd love it if you came along on this adventure with us and we'll see you in our next video bye